Good morning, my dear friends. Morning, Jesus Christ is Lord. God sent us here to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you today will give your life to God. Amen. Today's message is salvation is by grace of God. Salvation is by grace of God right now. Salvation is available. Salvation is possible. Salvation must be be by the grace of God because we are all sinners. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, all have sinned. Isaiah 53, verse 6 says, you are like a sheep gone astray. There is no other salvation except that which begins and ends with grace. It is not of ourselves. You do not deserve it because of who we are. You cannot earn it by what you do or what you have done. What we deserve is hell. But I thank God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who came in the woman flesh and died for our sins. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the wages of sin is dead. God give us, God save us, God give us his only begotten son. In spite of ourselves, man desires nothing from God but punishment. Salvation is a free gift. It is the gift of God. It is free. A gift is free. And it is forever. Salvation is given to us. It is not earned by us. Salvation is not of us. It is of God. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10, I am what I am by the grace of God. Salvation is through faith. By grace you are saved through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. What is faith? Faith in Jesus. The Bible says, the just shall live by faith. Faith of faith begins with faith and ends with faith. Now, faith is not the cause of salvation. Christ is the cause of salvation. Faith is but the instrument through which salvation comes to me. Faith does not save me. Christ saved me. Salvation is entirely the result of God's work. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 8 verse 10, we are his workmanship. We don't make ourselves Christians. It is God who makes us Christians. It is not of works. We are saved by grace of God. Salvation by works is not good news. It is not news. It is not good. Salvation by works is also terrible to any. It is also terrible to sinners ready to die. For instance, a man is dying. If salvation is by works, what more? I have to say, I'm sure of no use here. What can I say? The man is completely lost. There's no hope for him. If salvation is by works, our Lord will not have said to the thief, Die and decide today that shall be with me in paradise. That man could do no good works. That man could do no works. My friend, your good works will save you. We are saved by the grace of God. This man's hands and feet were fastened to the cross. Now listen, friends, a gospel that does not suit everybody does not suit nobody. It is unsuitable to the sinners aware of their sinfulness. Salvation by works is impossible for all. The law of God is like a chain. If you break a chain in any point, by one point, you break it completely. Our brother James said in James chapter 2 verse 10, whosoever keep, whosoever keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point is guilty of all. You cannot keep all the whole of God. 
And that's why you need Jesus Christ to save you. Your good works can save you. Keeping the law cannot save you. Christ kept the whole law. And that's why he died for our sins. In order for us to be free from the law. Amen. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 20. By the deeds of the law shall no man be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. The law is like a schoolmaster that shows us we are sinners and we are saved by the grace of God. And that grace of God in Jesus Christ has appeared to all men. We are without no more excuses anymore. Friend, there's nothing you need to do but to just believe. The world has already been accomplished. Jesus Christ said it is finished. That attesta means it is finished and paid for in full. And it's done a good job for us. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 9 says, Not of the result of work, so that no man may boast. God bless you, man. So you see, it does not give you any reason to boast. In Romans chapter 3 verse 27 to 8 says, Then what becomes of our boasting? It is excluded by what kind of law? By a law of works? No. But by the law of faith. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from the words of law. You are justified by putting your faith on the finished work of Jesus on the cross. By law, you will not make it. By grace, you will make it. And that's why that grace of God in Jesus Christ. So you see, friend, a child of God recognize that is crippled in God's sight. The only thing that a person can do, if you have any part in salvation, is to exercise faith, exercise of faith in what Jesus Christ has done for us. Believe in Him, what He has done for us, and He will save you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5, verse 10, when we were enemies, we are reconciled to God by the death of His Son, our sister. God bless you. We are reconciled by the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. You see, friend, that sacrificial love, Jesus Christ sacrificed himself, was the greatest gift to all mankind. The Bible says in John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life that everlasting life is a gift of god to us we don't deserve it we cannot earn it not by your good looks not by your good works not by your earning but you must have faith on the finished work of calvary the bible says in john 3 verse 18 whoever believes in him in jesus is not condemned but whosoever does not believe is condemned already why? Because you have not believed in the name of the Holy Son of God. So you see, salvation is by believing in Him. In Jesus, not by your works, but by faith in the finished work of Calvary. So my dear friend, believe in Him today. For you, we have your salvation. If you refuse to believe Jesus Christ, you are already condemned. Why are you still living? Don't get the idea until you die before God to judge you. No, you condemn yourself for refusing to be life. What Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary more than 2,000 years ago. You have a choice to make today, my dear friend. Salvation is of Jesus alone. No man can save you. Not by your good works, not by your good looks, not by your good ending, but based on the finished work of Calvary. So today, repent and get out with God before you die. Give your life to Jesus Christ today, and He will save you. All you have to say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I repent for my sins. I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. I believe that you died for my sins. Please, give me your Holy Spirit that I may live for you. I reject Satan and his words and his prayers. Today, help me to live for you. In your name I pray. Amen. I guarantee you, when you make a prayer like this, 
He will save you for all eternity and he will keep you safe. Let me say this. You put your name in the last book of life, in the name blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.